What is up, most distinguished patrons of this channel? Today, for the questions from the toolbox, we have a pretty simple question, and that is, what are gas quick connects for shielding gas hookups, be it for the back of your welder, for your TIG torch, anything to do with those? So let's get into it. So in front of us, I have a bunch of quick connect fittings for your gas system on your welder. Now these can be used on the back side, so the input, or on the front side for the output. And obviously if you have a TIG machine, you're typically going to have an in and an out. If you have a MIG machine, the out goes through your MIG whip and the gun. So you're not going to have a fitting like this that you need on your MIG machine on the front of the machine. So anyways, let's start talking about this little guy first. This is like a import or Euro style. This is very common on Everlast machines. I don't have the female adapter or connector for this uh, handy. I don't know where it is, it disappeared, but I'll put a picture up now. This is very common I found on imported machines. They work really good. The only downside is sometimes it can be hard to find parts for this and you have to measure the one that you have because they all look the same but they're different sizes so it's a pain sometimes to find parts for this system. They also, I believe, use that for liquid cooling or the water cooling lines on a TIG cooler as well. So that's also something to note. Most of these are really only designed for gas usage, shielding gas, not for water. Now, speaking of ports and stuff, your machine probably has this style on the back of the machine. If it does not, you'll have to get an adapter to use one of these. Same thing for the front. I know Miller is very big on using the same thread uh, on the front and the back, but not all machines are like that. So don't blame me if you go out and buy one of these, which by the way, links are in the description, and it doesn't work for you. You've got to verify the threads. There's, a, I mean, there's, I don't know, five or six different hookups for TIG torches and all of that. So just make sure you get what you need and don't blame me. I'm innocent, I promise. So anyways, we talked about the Everlast style. That's what I'll call it. This here is what I'll call the Miller style. I actually bought it from Miller Electric. I'm sure they don't make it. Uh, they buy everything like fittings wise like this from other companies. So this, uh, is probably available from a number of suppliers. This is a little bit different than this style down here. It's more similar to like the import style where it has a very small barrel or stick out, we'll call it. Because say this is the port on the back of your machine. When you thread this on, it doesn't stick out very far at all. That's a really good thing because if you have a small little portable TIG machine like I do and you want to be able to take your hoses off instantly like really fast instead of sitting there with a wrench, if it doesn't stick out far that's great because you're going to be moving that welder around and if it catches on something and it's sticking way out it can end up breaking the fitting or trashing your welder. You don't want that so I like this. The downside to this style is the male fitting here has a very small, very, and this is even nicked, very weak tube here. And I could easily see that with this in place, if you pop it out and just let it drop, that if this hits the ground in this one, maybe it has, it seems to have some dings on it. I didn't notice. Uh, you're going to end up tearing this up. Or if it's hooked up and you kick the hose, you're probably going to tear this right off of here. So the durability of this end is going to be rather limited, to be honest with you. The other ones that are out there, like you look at, even this is a fair amount more durable, more thicker, more better. So that's something to think of. But this system does work. Uh, I personally use it for my Miller Dynasty for the TIG torch. I haven't had any issues, but that machine isn't used portably. This style here which looks like it uses an air fitting that's, I think they call it a Lincoln style, LN25 or something, like a normal air chuck fitting. I actually compared this to one of those and it, it looks similar, but the inside diameter of this is way bigger than those uh, air fitting styles. So this is not quite the same and I would not recommend just buying the air fitting setup for this because you might lose gas flow. Because remember, shielding gas is at a decent flow rate but low pressure. So having a, a big restrictive fitting might be an issue. 
So this system works just like that. It's a quick connect, you push it. The difference here is that this has a much beefier male fitting and it's supported all the way through to where if your cord or excuse me your hose gets tugged i think this thing's still going to seal really well this i don't know how well if there's pressure on it sideways that it will still seal this has far beefier o-rings just the whole setup of this will likely outlast this the downside is look how big these fittings are so again this is your fictitious rear of your machine or the front of it look how much that sticks out now i personally use this on my rogue 200 because i'm always popping the gas line on and off to take it on jobs and i'm not gonna lie i haven't knocked this on anything yet but i'm overly cautious because of how far this sticks out so to me this is almost too much stick out and i think you're going to end up damaging this if you're not careful and maybe not damaging this but this is beefy, but man, you could really put a hurting on your gas solenoid or your fitting on the back of your machine. And if you have, unfortunately, like a cheaper built machine, you could end up breaking stuff because of how far this sticks out. Now, a couple other things that might be of interest to you. I'm sure you're wondering, well, that's great. These are cool. Do they leak? And I can report that I have not had any issue with leaking on this with either one of these or the Everlast. With that, I will say this. If you disconnect these while they have pressure in the line and you just pop it, rather than re releasing the pressure some other way, aka you shut the bottle off and then you hit the TIG foot pedal to drain the gas or your MIG gun, you pull the trigger. If you don't drain the pressure in here and just pop these off under pressure, I've noticed that the next time you try and go and hook this up, that it tends to have a slow leak. So it's one of those things where you probably, when it's under pressure, shouldn't be doing that. Now, the leak wasn't that significant, but there was one, and it kind of drove me nuts. And while I took this out, put it in a few more times, and then it sealed itself again. So I think what's going on is the little O-rings, they're real small in here, will just kind of move in place or somehow blow out a little bit, and then they need to be reseated or it'll leak. So that's something to be aware of, especially if you run fairly high flow rate and the pressure is decent, you're gonna have issues with sealing if you just let that happen. Now, if you just hook these up and you're careful like that, uh, I've left these things over, I don't know, four or five days and not seen any reduction in the pressure in the line. And this is a great test for any of you to do. If you wanna know if you have a leak, open your gas bottle, let it hit peak pressure for 10, 15 seconds, shut the bottle and leave it for a few days. If your bottle pressure, if your tank gauge reads the same and it hasn't dropped, guess what, buddy? You don't have any leaks. You'd be surprised how good a fairly tightly sealed system is that can't last four, five, six days without uh, opening the bottle again to repressurize the system, aka you got a leak. And these, I'm telling you, will hold no problem for four or five days, provided you take care of them. Speaking of taking care of them, if your plan is to take this on a mobile TIG welder and go beat it up in the field, and you think that these are going to survive getting mud and dirt packed in them and don't leak, you're fooling yourself. Honestly, these are not really designed for in-field use. You're still better off threading those on by hand onto your normal gas fitting. It's just far less of a headache dealing with that. So just something to think of. Also, since we're on the topic of these, they do make quick connect fittings for oxyacetylene torches. I personally use a set on my torches at work for a number of reasons. And I'll put a picture of them up right now. The fittings more or less look something like a hybrid of this, but a little bit smaller. And I use them for these reasons. One, because it allows me to take the torch off the hoses and I can put the torch in a safe place. It's very common to have your torch hanging around on an on a oxy fuel cart and then you bump it and now you bent your torch or something. It's just annoying. And torches are precision instruments despite what someone probably told you. And if you beat them up, they don't work right. So taking it off and putting it in a toolbox 
where it's kind of shielded from dirt, dust, debris, and damage will lengthen how long that torch lasts for you. So that's a good thing. The other good thing about having a quick connect torch is you can swap torches. So you can have multiple torches with the same fitting and swap them out really quickly, which is very handy. And in my case, I have two torches that I swap between. The third reason you might want to look at some of those quick connects is that if you work in a shop and you have people that like to borrow your tools, aka you're not around, they need a torch, your torch is now their torch and they use it, beat it up, and then when you go and use it, it doesn't work. Well, guess what, buddy? You get some of them torch quick connects, pull your torch off at night, lock it in your toolbox, now nobody can use your setup. And since nobody else is, well, everyone is cheap, they don't have quick connects on their torch, so they can't even use your, your gas, your hoses, your regulators, nothing, because they can't hook anything to it. So I find that that works exceptionally well to keep people off of your tools. So that's something to think of as well. But honestly, I can definitely recommend, if you would like to have quick connects, pick up one of these setups. You won't regret it. They work really good. And man, for portable work, I can just pop, 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 just like this, unhook my TIG torch, wrap it up, unhook the gas hose from my portable tank off the TIG machine. Just, I'm telling you, five seconds, you're already unhooked. You're not screwing around with wrenches. 100% worth it. So definitely go out and get something like this if it interests you. With that said, thanks for sticking around. Until next time, guys.